The schedule tab may show the events a client attends or their daily routine. You can add to their schedule by clicking the new event button. You can choose whether the event occurs regularly on a weekly basis or less frequently from the dropdown. Next, choose the title of the event by selecting an option from the dropdown list or simply add your own by typing in the event, the event name and then clicking create new event. If you chose weekly, you can select which day or days of the week the event occurs and then choose the start time. If you know the end time, you can enter that as well. You can select the event's location by choosing the drop-down list again, or you can type in your own location and click on the create new provider for the location you typed in. If you type in your own, you will receive a separate pop-up window asking if you want to create a provider for that location. If you click no thanks, you'll be brought back to the schedule form with the location entered in. If you choose create provider, you'll be redirected to a provider form where you can enter in the required details and click the create provider button. You'll get a green success message letting you know that the provider was created. And after you finish completing your event form, if you go to the provider section of your portal, you will see that new addition to your list. To finish filling out your event form, click whether or not the beneficiary needs assistance at this event. If you check the box off that assistance is required, you can select who provides the assistance by choosing one of the individuals from your dropdown list. If you have relationships already added to your account, their names will display here. If there are no names listed in the dropdown or the appropriate person isn't listed there, you can type in the individual's name and click on them to enter him. Again, you will receive a separate pop-up window asking if you want to create a relationship for that individual. If you click no thanks, you'll be brought back to the schedule form with the name of the assistant entered in. And if you choose create relationship, you'll be redirected to the relationship form where you can enter in the required details, set the user's permissions, and click the create relationship button. You'll get a green success message letting you know that that user was created. And after you finish completing your event, if you go to relationship section of your portal, you will see that new addition to your list. You can add in any additional notes about the event in the open text box and then click the create event button. This will be listed on the appropriate days and times on the weekly schedule list. To add a non-weekly event, we will fill out all the same fields within the form. However, instead of selecting the day or days of the week, you'll select from the dropdown in the frequency field. If the event occurs on a specific day or time, for example, the first Friday of the month, then check the box and complete the appropriate fields. Complete the form and click Create Event. This will appear at the bottom of the events page under non-weekly events. If you have the health and life permission set to view for your account, you will have a view button here instead and be able to see the event details but not change them. If you have life edit permission set, you will be able to click on the edit button and change the details. If this event occurs on more than one day during the week, you can click on the button to update all events. This will update all the events with the changes you made. If you only want to change the event details for one day, you can click update single event and only that day's details will change. If the event no longer occurs or you don't want it listed anymore, simply click the delete button. If the event occurs on multiple days, you'll receive a pop-up window asking if you want to delete single, which will remove the event from just the one day you selected, or if you want to delete all, which will remove them from all the days they occur. If you made a mistake or are unsure and you want to go back, simply hit the cancel button and you'll be X'd out. You can click the export button in the top right corner to create a PDF version of the schedule that can be easily saved or printed.